Dr. Godfrey, we're able to get our cow in the chute here. While we got it here, before we start doing anything, can you talk to us a little bit about site injection and finding a good site and, and how to choose the appropriate place? Sure. So when we when we inject any kind of medication, whether it be vaccine or antibiotic, into this cow, uh, we want to do that in the neck, whether it be under the skin or in the muscle. Um, when we're, when we're trying to find a location to do that, we have a specific triangle on the neck of the cow that we like to do that in. As you'll see, this cow is somewhat pushed up in the chute and we can see her shoulder right here. Um, so we wanna come in front of her shoulder. The okay. great thing about this chute is that we have neck extenders uh, and it gives us the perfect location to make these injections. So we come in front of the shoulder, okay. we come down from the top of the neck, about a hand's width. There's a ligament that runs right here that we don't want to inject into. Okay. And then we come up from the bottom of the neck about a hand's width. This is where the cow's neck or vertebrae run through here. Uh, and we give the injection in this triangle region. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about why that's such a good area for us to be injecting into? Yeah, of course. So um, the advantage to injecting in the neck is that this is the least desirable cut of the whole cap. We don't give any intramuscular injections in the rump or the top of the hip, and we try not to give any vaccines or any injections in the ribs or behind the elbow for the same reason. If we've got multiple injections we need to do at once, is that okay to do multiple at one time, different areas? What's yes, so we, we, we can give multiple injections. We just want to make sure that every injection is a hand widths apart from each other. Three to four inches, this is a good rule to okay. use. So we, we give one injection here, we come a hand's width away and give another injection here. Uh, if, we, if we've given, if we've used up all the space or the, or the real estate we have on one side, we switch to the other side and use the other side. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to answer our questions and help sure. us better understand how we can make the right decision for ourselves when it comes to needles and syringes sure. and working our cattle and keeping them healthy. Good, uh, happy to help.